Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video we are going to break down the Icon Field Armor 3 Elbow and Knee Armor available at Revzilla.com. So what you're going to see on the table in front of me is the new Field Armor 3 from Icon. The elbow armor is going to come around the $95 price point, and the knee armor is around the $110 price point. Keep in mind, Revzilla does have that price match guarantee. But really what you are going to see here is something aimed at urban or street riders, maybe the stunter world out there. This has been Icon's bread and butter for years. What's nice about this stuff is that if you want to wear your existing gear, maybe you just want to pull on your sweatshirt or you want to throw your regular blue jeans on, you can throw the field armor collection from Icon underneath your regular gear and you can get a bit more protection from impact, not from abrasion resistance. So keep in mind that in addition to the elbow and the knee armor in that Field 3 series, there's also the Icon Field Armor 3 vest and that would give you protection for your back as well as your chest. And we saw that upgraded this year as well, so make sure you check out that video if you are looking to complete the entire collection. Now the sizing for this is in two different sizes. You can either go with a small medium or you can go with a large extra large. Now the one note here is that if you're using the size chart, it should work out fairly well. I was in between. I found that going down to the small medium worked for me. I'm a pretty large individual. If I can fit into the small medium, then anyone above me and larger in size really shouldn't have a problem unless you're going crazy jacked up muscles. But really the issue that I see here is that there's not much available for folks that are super skinny. I would say this is going to work more for the average size rider up to the, the larger size rider before it would fit comfortably for the smaller, skinnier rider out there. Take a look at Icon size chart and that should help guide you in what size you should start with. If you find yourself in between sizes, definitely recommend sizing down. We'll just take a look at the elbow armor to start off with. So the main construction on this stuff is gonna be TPU, foam, and Hydro Dry. The Hydro Dry is a sweat wicking material from Icon and it works really nicely to just make sure you stay nice and cool. Um, it just helps to wick that sweat away. On the warmer months of the year, you're gonna see one main strap at the top and then your arm actually goes through this sleeve down below. I like the sleeve because it makes sure that the armor stays in place. Um, and then this extra connection point up top works out really nicely. I wouldn't have minded to see one extra, you know, wraparound connection point at the bottom, but again, the sleeve does work really well. Now the impact protection on this is gonna be CE level one d 3 l Now here's my biggest nitpick with this stuff, is if you pull this out, the armor is removable. It's CE level one armor. They are telling you that if you wanna to upgrade to CE level two, you can. You buy the unit, you take this out, you throw it away, and you put the CE level two armor in here. Here's what I would have loved to seen instead. I would have loved to have seen this available from Icon with a CE level one option and a CE level two option. That way I don't have to buy the CE level one, take this armor out, throw it away or get rid of it or set it aside on a shelf and then insert CE level two. I think what, what Icon could do in the future is have a CE level two version available for a bit more money. If people want the extra impact protection of CE level two, they can opt for that. And if not, then they can just go with the CE level one and they can save some money. But again, keeping in mind that this armor is already available, that shouldn't be uh, too difficult for Icon to offer that in two different versions. And again, that's gonna hold true for my thoughts on the knee as well. See what I just did there? I just threw that CE level one out of the way. It's better than wearing nothing underneath your gear, that is for sure. CE level one protection has been the standard for years. It's just for those of you that wanna bump up to CE level two. Also, Icon is gonna have that harder TPU on the outside with this for a little bit of abrasion resistance. Uh, but again, once you wear through your jeans or that, that hoodie that you just pulled over, this is really gonna be the only level of abrasion resistance you would have with this. Now, taking a look at the knee armor. What I like about this is it's not a sophisticated hinge system like we would see with a Liat, you know, full on dual axis knee, knee guard. But what you are gonna hear is a three piece system and instead of a hinge, you just have this kind of a stretch material over on the side. Again, TPU, foam, hydro dry construction. And you're gonna see that hard TPU throughout the entire to give you that extra level of abrasion resistance. But with that flex system, it's gonna mimic your knee's actual motion. So. Taking a look at the inside, again, you are gonna have that D3O CE level one on the inside, hydro dry, and you are gonna have three straps holding this in place. The one thing to note here is you always wanna start with that strap directly below your kneecap. That's where the one you really wanna ratchet down, then kinda of go up to your top and then finish out at the bottom. What I like about this is that once you get that Velcro in place, you are just gonna have snaps to take this on and off at the bottom part. Now the one note here is that at the top, the Velcro is in the back. So you can't have that same, uh, 
that same range in the back. You're just gonna have to do the Velcro on the top every time. But the two bottom straps, once you set it, you can forget it. And there is elasticity to this. So you do get that positive range of motion um, as you're flexing your legs, as you're walking throughout the day. But again, this is really gonna complete that Field Armor 3 set from Icon. Um, and really, for those of you out there that have never used this stuff before, that are looking at it, it's really for those of you out there in that urban environment that wanna add a little bit of protection, but you don't wanna buy a full-on gear complement. So for those of you out there that want more information, maybe you wanna hear what other riders have to say about the Field Armor that they're using, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device and read other rider reviews. Folks that are already out there putting Field Armor through its paces. If you're not sure as to what kind of protection is right for you on your motorcycle, you can always reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us today for this look at the Icon Field Armor 3. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.